I don't have a goose egg at hand, but I can also do goose eggs. Um, the way we start, the way we learn is we start with a chicken egg. <laughs> we learn how to poke a hole in each end, let it drain out, then, uh, then try making the cut with it. Uh, you have to be very careful because those chicken eggs, if you have the wrong kind of cutting tool, it will uh, just uh, destroy that egg. So you have to know how to handle it gently and uh, go from there. These are some cards I made up. They're uh, emergency contact cards. I took my business cards and put them at the top so that um, you can stick them on the refrigerator. Those are three chicken eggs. Now the one in the center right there, you can take that off of the stand and put it on your Christmas tree. Okay, that in the center there is a Dremel. That happens to be a battery powered Dremel and it doesn't have the right cutting tool on it. The kind of cutting wheel you want on that would be a diamond tip cutting wheel. And uh, that's the only kind of cutting tool or cutting wheel or cutting device that you can use to cut into those chicken eggs. Now you might be able to use that to cut an ostrich egg with because the ostrich egg is a pretty strong egg. But you want to use electric powered Dremel because the battery powered Dremel doesn't last that long. Uh, you may be able to score it with the battery powered Dremel or make your design if you want to but I doubt uh, you'd be able to use it to cut around the whole ostrich egg. These are the figurines we use sometimes. Like I say, depending on the project. That one happens to be a dinosaur. This, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I left it in the card. This is a Spider-Man. This is going to be my next project. Hopefully I'll have it done by the time I get to to go to the mall and get set up out at the mall. We're having an arts and crafts show at the mall to support the uh, pregnant women's support group. Um, hopefully I'll get a little TV out there and I'll be able to show this video on the TV out there. But these are the figurines that we put inside the egg. Okay. If you keep watching, you watch long enough, you'll see that fish turn inside the egg. I set it up so that, uh, so that looks like, you know, he kind of wobbling around or, you know, Hopefully trying to make it look like the way a fish would look inside the, inside his uh, tank or fish bowl or generally in the water.
and it's on a lampstand so that uh, you don't have to worry about finding a uh, finding a place to put it. You can just put it in the corner of the room and it'll sit just like that. I found this uh, lampstand in the trash and so that's how I got the idea to try to convert this into a collector's item. I think it's very beautiful. And the finishing touch is that bottlenose porpoise. <laughs> 